Hello and welcome. I have started these trunks and I wanted to just show you a little glimpse on how I am going to do a little bit of refining and that will show you a little bit of how I got started on this and you can see here the tree that I'm using for, for photo reference but you'll see as I move along. Okay, now I've got this little angle brush. I love these angles. I got two different sizes, a little tiny one. You can see that. Now I'm going to just kind of push my brush into that paint. So it's, it kind of loads one side, a little bit generous with the paint. And I'm following my photo reference here. And I just kind of come down where I think maybe the sun is hitting because it's all coming from the right hand side. And, and these trees are round. These are aspen trees. You want to pull that paint across like this and you can pull your brush down and then pull across. Already basically got my shadow in there, but this paint here is all dry and that's how I'm able to get this in here. But I just wanted to show you a little technique on how I started this tree and I will be doing more on the forest of course and if you watch the full video on YouTube then you'll see how I did the entire painting trying to pull out clips little teaching tutorials out of each part of the painting because this painting is quite intense and full of all kinds of different things now I'm using my little angle brush I'm going to do the same thing because I want to get kind of tight. And it, I'm, I might go angled like this too, you know, angled brush this way, just to bring in like this one has. Now I'm going to try not to touch that because it is wet. I don't want to mess it up. I want to pull that around. I'm trying to figure out where the back part of my tree is here, like that. Now I've got a nice little shadow going up. Now I'm going to get into my ultramarine blue and black again. This is all that is, is ultramarine blue and black. More on the blue side because I don't want too dull of gray. Oh, adding ultramarine blue to the black kind of creates a Payne's gray kind of color. Now I'm going to come in here and make these little cracks of uh, just like this one. This is kind of a photo reference for you here. You don't have to keep, I don't have to keep pulling this out. So now, I don't want too much of those lines, just a few. I don't want to make it too busy. Just kind of make little touches there. Now I'm going to go back into a little bit more of a richer mixture of the ultramarine blue and black. And I'm going to create these little spots. Like not, not a lot, maybe a little line with a little spot. Like they're like little bark, little knots in the tree. Sort of brings a tree out a little bit. I don't want to get too busy. Maybe there's a big knot here. Just create it how you want it. It's your world, <laughs> like Bob Ross would always say. I loved him. Anyway, okay, now we've got maybe, oh, say there's a, a good size knot right here. It's kind of a circle. And it might have a little extension of a crack there. And we've got maybe a couple little spots here. Yeah. Now, of course, I'm going to finish the rest of the tree, but I just wanted to kind of zone in on this one particular spot of the trunk just to give you some tips on how I created that little bark. And I'm thinking maybe there might be, there could be a branch coming out, maybe right here, maybe on the other side of the tree. Sort of make it a black one because there'll be white 
light colored ones and there'll be dark colored ones. Maybe I'll add a little bit of a ultramarine, or I mean, the burnt umber to that, just to create a little bit more color. And of course you wanna get tinier as you go towards the tip. This is just maybe a little old branch, a broken branch. It might have some more stuff coming off it, but I have to decide that. You really have to look at your trees from a distance, look at them from different angles. Then you kind of know what you're gonna do with them. Now I'll give you a little bit of uh, foliage since I've got all these colors out here. I'll give you a little, now I've got this little rake. See how the, the bristles are spread apart? Can you see that, I hope? So I'm just gonna tap into this, kind of scoop it up like a shovel. So I've got it on the tips of those. And maybe, maybe down here I've got some foliage coming off of this. I don't think I wanna have it, uh, I might. Or maybe I should have some coming off of this. You can kind of decide as you go. And maybe I'll scoop up some of this kind of a green. Maybe that won't be a totally dead branch. See, now you just sort of twist this around, make little marks. And if they don't show up enough, grab some maybe that yellow light on the tips. Just touch it. Touch, touch. Twist it as you go so you have little delicate, far away leaves coming down off that tree. That's good. That's nice. I like that. That branch is kind of reaching out that way. And maybe there'll be a little highlight on that branch. I think I want to maybe bring in some of this oxide with the Naples yellow here. Just balance my hand on that and all that other paint is dry. Now you can use a, a stick. And I just kind of highlight that maybe because it's going out that way and it's catching some sunlight. Don't worry too much if you mess it up because you always kind of bring these other branches in like cover up your mistake. <laughs> Like you meant to do that. This is this is coming from other trees behind. Maybe they're extending out this way. Sort of hides your mistakes. Kind of thing. Now maybe I want to bring a little orange with the Naples yellow. Down in maybe right here. You just have to do it as you go. You don't want to rush this kind of thing. How's that look? Maybe you could just kind of eh, put some down in here. It's tapping, twisting the brush, different directions. Just to create branches from back here, back this, these trees back here, and I'll bring in trunks as well back in there. I'm creating a forest around the hunter and the mule. If you watch the full video on my YouTube channel, then you'll see what I'm talking about, of course. So maybe I want a little more highlight coming up through here. And that helps me decide where I want my tree trunks and where they're all gonna tie in back here. See that kind of, I like that. I like that yellow light because it breaks up all this, this trees back in here. And the sunlight's coming from the right hand side and really lighting them up. And I'll look at that for a minute and decide what I'm gonna do next. That's what I do throughout this whole entire painting. Thinking, thinking, thinking a lot. I hope this helped you. I'll do some more. See you soon.